For the second time this week, a car is pulled out of the Rock River in one Rockford neighborhood, this time with someone inside. Rockford search and rescue crews were on the scene today in the 100 block of Sheridan Street, pulling that car with one person inside out of the river. And as Eyewitness News reporter Kevin King explains, residents fear this could be a continuing trend. Kevin. Josh, residents say they haven't seen violence in this area in years. And even though a body was found, officials say there was no foul play. A tow truck pulls this Mitsubishi Galant out of the Rock River on Sheridan Street Saturday afternoon, making this the second time this week rescue crews pulled a car from the river. This was the scene on Wednesday as divers plunged into the river, but today's scene was different. Rockford Fire Department came as the divers went in. They did discover that there was a body in the car. Winnebago County Coroner Sue Fiducia says a 24-year-old male was found dead in the back seat of the car. While Fiducia says it's still too early to tell what caused him to crash, she's already ruled out foul play. I am not seeing any trauma to his body, but that will be determined on Monday at autopsy. But residents in the area are stunned. Leah Thunberg calls the neighborhood peaceful, but worries this could now become a regular occurrence. If this has happened twice in one week, I think either a guardrail needs to go up or a couple of large boulders, maybe a little bit more uh, curb appeal to that. Other neighbors in the area can't remember when something like this has ever happened. Well, it's a little startling. This is the second one in one week, and so it's unusual enough to have one. Um, I don't think any of the neighbors around here remember anything like this happening uh, at all. Officials believe the man was alone in the car, but as the investigation continues, they're curious as to what else they might find. There's no indication of anything in the car that anyone else was in the car. However, as we talk with his family, it will be interesting to know where he was last night, who he was with, and, you know, we'll go from there. Fiducia says the body was taken to a local hospital where they checked the blood and alcohol content. Josh? All right, thanks, Kevin.